Mark, my wish you ran down the straight a couple of weeks ago, put up a really good performance on paper there. What did you make of the run overall? Yeah, very pleased with him. Um, he got uh, a little bit lost under pressure, which you'd expect. His, his trials, he, we haven't asked too much of him, and he did only have one trial before coming to Hong Kong. So um, when Luke first put him under pressure, he, um, he, he did sort of wander about a little bit, but uh, the last part of his race was really good. The way you found the line there, did that convince you that 1,200 was the, the right move this time around? Yeah, and look, I, I just wanted to start him off at 1,000 and give him a good experience. Um, you know, he'll he'll appreciate the extra trip now, and now that he's had that uh, experience, I'd say round the bend will suit him better. How's he come on since then? Because he is just under a, a thousand, or just around a, a thousand pounds. So he's does he take much work? He doesn't take much work. He's only a little horse. Um, he's still quite immature. Um, this will probably uh, be his last run for the season. Uh, I thought if we give him a fairly easy time at the back end of this season, he's going to make into a nice horse. You've got Talent's Ambition lining up on the your weather. He's only lightly tried to here in Hong Kong, but um, he looked uh, pretty good, I thought, last time out, considering the draw and the, the big weight. Yeah, look, he hasn't had a lot of luck with draws. Um, he gets to the bottom of the weights uh, in this and, and gets onto the all weather for the first time. But uh, his trials and work on the all-weather suggest he'll handle it, uh, and he's got an American pedigree, so um, I'm confident that he'll handle it. Down in the weight series, uh, even though it's a, a, a 60 to 85, he's probably a little disadvantaged um, at, at the weights, but he's a horse that's improving quickly, and uh, I think if, you know, if he can get a win now, uh, it'll set him up good for next season. What do you look to do with him from barrier nine in the nine-horse field with the, the short run to the first turn? Oh, look, most likely go back, but uh, it's a race that doesn't look to be much pace. So um, we'll have a talk with Harry and, uh, and work out a plan, but I'd say most likely we'll give him a chance early and let him finish on. We're in the final throws of the, the first season for you here in Hong Kong. 25 for winners with still a handful of meetings uh, to go. Uh, can you sit back at the end of the season with a, a cold one and uh, reflect on what has been a, a good season? How, over, how overall would you sum it up? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm satisfied. Um, I, I'd always uh, thought that we'd have, uh, you know, a good last part of the season, and, and that's turned out. Um, we've got some nice horses for next year, so I think, you know, we've put ourselves in a good position to do uh, well next year and, and, and improve again through the season. So, no, overall, I'm very satisfied. Alexi flying ace for uh, David Hall, a horse you've partnered on a, a couple of occasions now. You chased home Kay Ying rising last start. What was your overall take on the run last start? I thought last time was a very good race, a very good run from him. I know he's been unlucky with the draw sometime, but last time was pretty straightforward. I had to, I had him in the right spot, free back, and, uh, and he chased pretty well, so that was a good effort. Looked like he never gave it away over the final stages. Do you get a similar sort of run from the, the draw this week, do you think? I'm hoping so. Uh, I think with the California Spangled racing style, I should be hopefully in the right spot. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, 1,400 might be his maximum, so it's good to be on the inside. I just have to uh, be economic and, uh, and save some energy. I was going to ask about that because it's only his second time trying 1,400 metres. Is it, is it within his range, do you think? Well, he's, sir, I mean, I assume that the horse is getting more mature and with the experience he should be able to handle the distance. Uh, what's encouraging is the, the, the setup is pretty favourable for me because the pace should be OK and uh, I drew a good barrier, so it should be easier. You know one of his race rivals particularly well, healthy, happy you were aboard him last start. How do you feel he's going at the moment? Well, he is a horse that... Everybody knows very well, and uh, he's a good horse. He likes to go forward. He's just aging a little bit, I would, I would say. Uh, but he's still a good, very good horse and very competitive in that sort of races. And 1400 is probably his best distance, so uh, he, he's still a potential danger. Frankie, three runners in one of the Group 3s at the weekend. Uh, Happy together, he's had an excellent season. He's won five, including a Group 3 race at uh, Happy Valley, the, the January Cup. Came to your stable at the, the end of last season. Um, what's been the, the turning point for this horse? I think, uh, you know, sometimes I get this horse in the time. So, I mean, uh, I think maybe I'm lucky. So I get this season. So I think he's fun. So uh, uh, he got five winners for me, yeah. 
you must have been really impressed with what he did in the, the QE2 Cup uh, behind uh, Romantic Warrior because we know how that forms uh, turned out where he, he ran fourth. It was a super run, I thought. Yeah, he won really good. He finished fourth and a uh, lot too far back, so I'm very happy. What's his best trip? It says 1,800 metres, but he's obviously been effective over a mile as well. What do you believe his best trip is? I think 18 to 2,000 should be uh, good for him at this moment, yeah. You've been happy with his uh, work and his trial leading into this weekend? Yeah, yeah, he trial uh, in Chongfa, uh, he trial good. And uh, this morning, I just put uh, uh, Alex on, he said the horse is uh, still in good form, he's very relaxed in, in the morning, so I'm happy, yeah. What about uh, Sword Point? Uh, where do you feel he's at at the moment, Sword Point? Because he had a, a good four-year-old season, but he's been, I guess you could say, a bit disappointing this season. Yeah, uh, at the early after this season, he's, uh, after two or three runs, he's, I think he's, he's from a little job. So I sent him to Chongfa, uh, just come back on Tuesday. He looked like a, a little bit better than before. I hope we get one good, good race for me also, yeah. You happy with his trial? He looked to, he looked to move well. He settled third and loomed up. Yeah, yeah. He, he looks better also in, in Chong Fai trial. And I hope uh, he got a, he won better for, for me, yeah. What about one of your stable stalwarts <laughs> in the race as well, all St Paul's? Um, two wins this season. He's up for start 50 and he's having his first run in a, a group race this weekend. Uh, where's he at at the moment? Yeah, uh, he's the same. He always uh, Chong Fa, Hong Kong, Chong Fa, Hong Kong. Uh, I think he's, he's, he's uh, seven years old already, and uh, he, in this ways, I think uh, maybe he can live by himself. Uh, also, one of the horse, uh, Cheng Cheng Goi, maybe I think maybe sit beside him. So the pace I think should be okay for him. If 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 everything good, you know, usually light ways, everything can happen. Yeah. Lyle, uh, thriving brothers going around in the last four. Uh, Douglas White looked a, a reasonably good performance. I thought first up. Yeah, well, his trial in Chung Fa was excellent um, leading up into that race. And um, the horse we, we beat in that trial ended up winning the, the, the race that we, we participated in. So the form around that is really good. Um, he had a good barrier last time, but we didn't want to be too aggressive and teach him to, to only race hard and fast, considering that he probably has the scope for a bit more. Um, so he, he got the cover, he raced uh, genuinely in behind them and uh, he actually didn't get much clear air but still hit the, hit the line really well. So I thought it was a very pleasing performance, um, one that he would have learnt and, and come on from. And um, yeah, stepping up the extra 200, he can be in a good spot once again from a decent draw and uh, he'll run well. You mentioned that uh, trial, he'd only had two trials leading into his uh, debut. How much do you think he can improve here second up? Well, naturally you'd expect quite a bit of improvement fitness-wise. Um, just from a from a mental perspective as well. So, you know that was that was sort of why we we went straight to the races because we thought he was ready to to go. But um, instead of trialing again, um, let him have a, a proper head out under pressure, and um, he he held himself um, quite admirably. From your limited experience with him, is he a horse that has a good attitude and whatnot? Yeah, he, he is. He's quite a nice horse um, in every aspect. Still learning a few things, I think. He um, can, can change leads a bit easier, um, but he, he races really nicely behind. He's got good, good gate speed, travels well, and, and showed last time he has a finish. So got a lot of nice attributes about him.